Hey guys, video update on the BSA Bantam. Well, I've had this uh, Speedo knocking about on my desk now for about a year, and that's basically because I hadn't had a bezel on it, and I didn't have the uh, actual glass in it. And the reason I didn't have that is because you have to have this uh, bezel rolled onto the actual glass. You can roll, you can do it with screwdrivers, put it on, but it doesn't give such a nice finish as if you have it done in a lathe. And I didn't know that at the time because I just thought it was the same as an ordinary Smith's gauge where you, you just had three tabs and you could put it on and slot it in. But you live and learn and find out these things. I found that out through a company called MJC Products and that's John Chadwick. There's his card. And I'll just zoom in so you can see. There you go. And basically, I got a new glass and bezel off of him for about, I think it was about 15 pounds through eBay. And rang him up, said, look, how does this fit? He said, you can do it with screwdrivers, ideally you need to do it with a lathe. And he said, just send me the gauge and I'll do it for you, you know, for a small fee. And I tell you what, he is the most helpful eBay I've ever had on eBay. So recommend him to anybody, you know, who's got gauge problems because the job he's done there is just absolutely fantastic. And while on eBay, I thought, well, sod it. The bike could do a new HT lead, so brought one of those. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, any company does them. So this is just measure to length, cut, and fit. So anyway, let's get into my overalls and uh, let's get them fitted. Right then, couldn't quite get it going. I think that's mostly down to the fact that the bike's been sitting for about six months, not doing much, so the battery's pretty flat. Uh, the Eagle Eye viewer amongst you would probably notice there's no gear lever, and that's down to the sheer fact that the gear shaft is actually bent, that's for a future video. 
it's good to finally get the speedo back in place where it belongs and a nice decent HT lead in place as opposed to that crusty old one which I had. Anyway, like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.